Yo, what up, everybody? Silver Sound of 234 here. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Alright, so in this part, we are definitely going to finish off World 5. Mario, you got a letter from Princess Peach, and she is in a very far away place right now, but she's okay because she knows just she'll save us, and then she, 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 she attached something useful to the letter. We already know this. Five one up mushrooms. Thank you, Princess Peach. Let's do this. Let's go to World 5. Toad, stop talking to me. Five one ups. We have nine lives. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so, um. Shiverburn Galaxy. This galaxy has spawned a very, very interesting and very popular creepypasta in the Mario series, and I'm gonna show you guys this. Prince Picante's Peppery Mood. Uh, he's in a peppery mood. Whenever I get mad, I'm gonna start using that phrase. I am in such a peppery mood! Oh my lord! Sonic 06 has made me, has given me such a peppery mood. So if you, if you go in um, first person mode and look on the top of a hill, you're going to see these three figures staring down at you. And these are known as the Hell Valley Sky Trees is what they call them. And they follow you basically everywhere you go. So wherever you are, that's where you're going to see them on that ledge. Now... That is most likely like an Easter egg or something that Nintendo just put there that, you know, someone that Nintendo put there for fun. But, um, you see that now they're, you know, they're closer to me now. So that, that is actually very creepy. And <laughs> if, yes, yes, believe it or not, that is actually very, very creepy. But, um, yeah, just wanted to point that out. As this galaxy itself, uh, you know... And what I think of the, well, well, before I get to the galaxy, let me tell you what I think of the creepypasta. What I think of the creepypasta, well, I think it's pretty good. I think that this is pretty creepy. Um, I think that this is a pretty creepy Easter egg in a Mario game. And there's also a Easter egg in Super Mario 3D Land that is also very creepy that I will no doubt show you in my playthrough of that game whenever that may be. And uh, by the way, hit this switch and turn the whole place into ice. You know, yeah. So this is one of my favorite galaxies in the game. Oh, snap. Um, okay then. <laughs> I do absolutely love this galaxy. I love the design of this galaxy and how... I love galaxies in Mario games where they mix hot and the... Uh, fire and ice elements together I love those I love those um I love that idea in Mario games and uh, Mario Galaxy games that's why freeze flame galaxy was one of my favorites in uh, Mario Galaxy 1 if you've seen my playthrough of that um game yeah I'm gonna be oh snap <laughs> okay that was a fail <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Oh, all right then. All right then. Uh, we're off to a very good start. As a matter of fact, we're pretty much halfway through the level. Um, let's try not to fail this time. Let's make this platform and let's make this jump with a long jump. And yeah, homie. All right. Hit a coconut to that. Get a uh, extra one up. So now it's like we never died. It really is like we never died, though, because, because, oh, oh, all oh, right then. Well, there's no score counter like it would be in a Sonic game, but whatever. Like it would be in a Sonic game, but uh, whatever. So, um, there are lava pits that can spawn inside of the ice from falling meteors that fall. So meteors that fall can create lava pits for a short time and they just go away and they can spawn inside the ice. And of course, uh, six life mushroom just in case you need that for the boss that we are gonna be coming up to very shortly. And uh, if you remember from uh, the oh, oh. If you remember from the first Mario Galaxy how to kill those aliens, well you basically uh Deflect those, um, oh, snap. Oh, I'm, there's coins there anyway. And you basically deflect those, uh, oh, snap. Go, go, go. You basically deflect those green, uh, things. Those green balls that they shoot. 
back at them to kill them. And it's kind of vice versa here, because you get now you have ice pellets forming ice in the lava. So let's see what this toad has to say here before we fight the boss. We we finally made it deep into the enemy territory. Prince Picante is right over there. I don't think I don't know if I'm shaking because I'm cold or scared. Oof. Well, I'd say you're a little bit of both. And by the way, switch to first person mode because those guys are still there. Isn't that awesome? I don't know why I keep I keep accidentally pausing the game. I keep accidentally pressing the minus button. I keep thinking that's what's gonna take me out of first person mode. But no, this is Pris Picante. Um. So here's what he's basically gonna do. He basically rides in this thing and he shoots fireballs at you that create lava pits in the ground. But eventually he's gonna shoot a green slimy ball at you. And once you and once uh you know you use the star spin to deflect that towards him. Pretty much the same exact way that you've been. Pretty much you fight him the same exact way that you've been fighting the other aliens in Mario Galaxy 1 and this game. So yeah, they made a whole boss based off of that, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Oh snap, I just complimented this boss, don't hurt me, dang. But you hit him three times, the magic number in a Mario game. And that's it. That boss is not hard. <laughs> Except for that one time I got hit and I didn't dodge the fireball correctly, but whatever. We got the power star. We got the power star. Did we get it? Yes, we got it. All right. So, yeah, the whole thing about those Hell Valley Sky Trees, they're creepy. They're very, they're, they are creepy. I'm not going to lie. They are. And, um, I think it's a pretty creepy, pe creepy pasta. Pretty creepy, creepy pasta. Uh, yeah, all right then. Pretty creepy Easter egg to put in a Mario game. A letter addressed to the baby Luma has arrived. <laughs> to my lost Luma, there are many kind-hearted people out there who are watching over you. I hope the attached item is, you, is helpful. May the star shine down on you. Wow, there are 50 star bits attached to that letter. No return address, but I hope I get to meet this mysterious person soon. Which, if you play the first Mario Galaxy, like I said again, like I said before, probably a million times, you know who that is. But anyway, there's a secret star in there, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to go straight to Bowser Jr. Straight to Bowser Jr. Because I would need, I believe we needed 55 stars to get there, and we had just enough stars to get there. So yes, the star count gets higher, which is where we're going to have to, you know, start getting stars more in a smart way. Bowser's Boomsday Machine. Yes, instead of Doomsday, it's Boomsday. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, he has a Boomsday Machine. Apparently that's what it looks like. He's just hopping in his cockpit in there waiting for us to come so we can blow us the mess up. But anyway, um, now... This is very interesting. There is parts of his mighty Mega Hammer. I want to go home, and they told the scary because they're like right by the parts, and they're like scared. They're just gonna like come to life and kill him. This robot thing looks like it could reactivate any second. Yikes! Ah! That's just danger. <laughs> I want to go home. Don't worry, it's broken. No, it's not. And if you go right in, he's like, yeah, oh, I got hit with a bullet. I got shot. Mario got shot. Well then. Huh. Alright, follow me, Bullet Bill. Follow me. You better come around. Follow, follow. So this is one of those sequences where you have to get to the Bullet Bill to the uh, cage and make it blow it up. And then we shoot ourselves out of a cannon. Straight on that target. Now here's the thing about these targets. Um, if you if you hit the middle of them, this crowd like applauds you and you get a extra one up for it, which is very useful. I collected that coin right before I got hit. 
Hey, 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 let me get one of you. Thank you. Alright, so let's get some, let's get that Grand Star. Did I say Grand Star? I meant Long Star. My bad. <laughs> Alright, so we have to hit that target right in the middle. Don't get hit by the. Alright then. Let's see if we can make it. We made it! Oh, yes, I have perfect aiming abilities. Oh, yes, why can't I do this good in archery? I've never played archery. Dang. Dang it. Da dang it. Dang it. Well, dang it. Wow. Well, I just hit a checkpoint, so we're all good. And we can actually get that one up back, I believe. Can we? Yes, we can! This game is so forgiving. I like Sonic 06. But, you know, this game has nothing to do with 06, so why am I talking about it in the first place? We're not going to talk about that until I get the next part of 06 up. I spawned a cloud right before I had in the grand, had a launch store. Alright then. Alright, so this boss was a really challenging boss for me. Um, I'm going to explain why in a minute. My dad's going to get angry if I let you get another grand star. Time to break out my boomsday machine. I just relax in my comfy cockpit and watch you go boom! Alright then. So this Boomsday Machine is probably the most chaotic boss fight in this entire game. I am not exaggerating. It is so crazy. Oh man. I remember when I first fought this boss, it took me a long time to beat him. So what you have to do is you have to use the Cloud Flower and those fans to get to spawn you up there. Get on top of his cockpit and ground pound. And each time you hit him, his machine constantly upgrades with new attacks. And no, this machine does not take three hits to kill, but rather, I believe, five to six hits. Um, I don't remember how many hits, but he's also going to be shooting electric balls at you, and I'm like, oh, snap. He's also going to be shooting electric balls at you and sucking you in with his fans, so uh, watch out for that. This boss is crazy. This boss is the most chaotic boss fight in the game, and it was definitely... Oh, I didn't make it! Oh, snap, I thought I was going to get hit by that. Which, if you are, if you're on top of a cloud, yes, you're going to get sucked into those fans. You got to watch out for that. Now, I will say one thing I love. I, I love the music. It's basically a remixed version of his boss music from the first Mario Galaxy, I believe. So, um, yeah, he's going to do, he's going to do that fan thing occasionally. Then you got to use the... And then, boom. And if you're on there a long period of time, he's going to do this electric firing attack where he's going to knock you off and electrocute you. But here's the thing. After you attack him twice, he gets, um, he turns into a tank. A huge, tall tank that's now rolling around. And this is where the boss gets so, so crazy. Not only is he sucking you in with fans, not only does he have those... Um, fireball things, but and you also have to get at a very, very high altitude in order to hit him. Man, this is a very challenging boss because not only is he moving around, but you have to stay at a very high altitude in order to hit him. And not to mention that these electric balls can disintegrate these clouds, they can destroy these clouds. And let's see if I can get up there. Ooh. Oh my lord. He's like moving around. He won't be still. Be still, Bowser Jr. Be still. Oh, snap. And the thing is electrocuted while the fans are going. So, uh, just stay on top of here and... Boom! Oh, never mind. It does take three hits. I thought it took more than that. I guess I got this mixed up on how long it took me to complete this boss fight later. I mean before because before oh yes this took me a long time to beat this boss fight it took me a long time <laughs> because this boss was so challenging to me the first time I did not like I really like was trying to figure out how to get up there like 
Like, I knew how to get up there. It was just hard for me to dodge his attacks. It was so cruel. It was so cruel. But anyway, we opened up the portal to the new world. Oh, snap! The last world in the game, too. We're almost done with this, people. We're almost done. 56 stars. Let's do this. All right. That's the fifth grand star. I had a feeling you could do it. Next up is the sixth world, and you know that monster is going to put up an even stronger fight now. So let's get those power stars and save your special one. I don't do that voice a lot. I probably don't. The big fight awaits. The helm is yours, Captain. All right, so this is the final world in the game. I hope you guys are ready. Because we're almost done with this playthrough. Yay! It's one step closer for me to, to start Twilight Princess. That playthrough's coming, people. Don't worry. Don't worry. But we have the sixth world in the entire game. And it also starts with a very challenging galaxy, which I will do in this part, depending on how long we got, um... Uh, depending on how long we've been recording. The battle draws near. Do your best and let... The battle draws near. Do your best and let them, and let and let's get them this time. All right. So our game has been saved. Let's see how long we've been recording. We've been recording for 16 minutes. Just enough time for me to do this galaxy right here. Melty monster galaxy. This galaxy is filled with lava monsters. Ain't that awesome? The Magnificent Magma Sea. Yes, it's magnificent indeed. It's magnificent indeed, people. The Melty Monster Galaxy. Oh, Lord. This galaxy is challenging. This is where the game starts getting really challenging, people. And no, I'm not going to do this with Luigi. Matter of fact. Let's have Luigi do this. Why not? Hey, bro, you're looking for a start around here, huh? Why do I keep doing that? Oh, my Lord. Hey, bro, you're looking for a start around here, huh? You want me to take over for a little while? Now, one thing I have to say, not only is this galaxy very challenging, but the music is just is so epic. It's just as epic. It's about on the level of the... Oh, snap! Yes, that's what you have to watch out for in this galaxy. This music on this galaxy is about on the level of the... Melty Molted Galaxy, I believe it was called, in Mario Galaxy 1. This music is so, so epic. I love this song. I love it. I love, I love it. Okay. I love this song. This is so epic. Oh, so, ooh, hey. Now those melty, now those melty monsters. I'm gonna call them that. Yes, exactly what I'm gonna do. They will try and eat you. Oh, snap! <laughs> yes, this galaxy is very challenging. It is very crazy. Oh, I didn't see that fireball. I was not paying attention. Okay. All right. Um, Now, be warned, I have not, like most galaxies in this game, have not done them in a long time. So if I'm dying a lot, you know why. And I chose to play as Luigi and he has butter on his feet, so you might like this, so you might be wondering why, why in the world did you choose Luigi to play this. Because, you know, Luigi's good. Luigi's a very good Mario character, and I'm probably going to need that six life mushroom. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Thank you. No, this is just a fun little question, and um, this is just going to be a fun little question of the day here. I'm going to actually ask this. If you had the ability to do everything that the Mario Brothers could do, would you do this level? I'm talking about in real life. If you actually had the ability to do the things that Mario, that the Mario Brothers would do. 
would you do this? Would you do all of this in real life? This particular level. In person. In real life. Like for real. Oh snap. Oh. 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 Oh man. I got burned twice in the world. But yeah. Would you? Write. Write your answer in the comments below. In, in the comments below. Write your answer. Type your answer. I mean. Type your answer in the comments below. Whoa. Alright. Okay. Then. Funny thing, I'm getting hurt while I'm answering that question, so so you guys might be answering like, no! <laughs> oh snap, get on that vine. Get on, oh snap, get on that vine. Oh wow, Luigi, grab that vine! Oh snap, I have one life left. I have one life left. Oh, 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 oh please. Swing back there, get that, thank you. Oh my lord, I don't want to die. Oh man. And oh my lord, this part is crazy. So many melty monster monsters. Not to mention that there's going to be some extra ones coming up trying to eat you as well. This is so crazy. Oh lord. Yes, I cannot. Yes. My reaction to when I first saw this part. I was like. I was literally like. My mouth was open and I was literally like appalled. Like. Like, what the deuce is going on? This is so crazy. Yes, this is the most difficult. This is one of the most difficult levels in the entire game. Oh, no snap. Don't eat me. Oh, Lord. I should have waited. I should have waited. Oh. Oh, the gravity. Thank the Lord for gravity. <laughs> the fact that this takes two hits. To get the grand star, I'm still gonna have to get it. Oh my lord! Yeah, this is so hard that you can even like have the grand star right like, right there in your grasp and still like die. Come on, come on, Luigi! Come on, come on! Thank you. Oh, that level's crazy. The second star is even more difficult. The second star is even more difficult. We've been recording for 22 minutes. I'm going to do that star. I'm going to do that star in the next part. So. And apparently we can now advance to the next galaxy, but we're not going to do that yet. Alright. Another hungry mouth to feed? Another hungry mouth to feed? I hope, I hope you know what you're doing. Looks like our latest additions want to have a word with you, Captain. It's really just a mini game with them. Uh, you can like just switch this block over. You, all you really have to do is use your star spin to uh, flip this block over and whatever. And like it's it's like roll the dice, it's like a big giant roll the dice version. You just do that, and then whichever uh, symbol that lands on top, this is what you get. If it's multiple one-up mushrooms, you get multiple one-up mushrooms. If it's one one-up mushroom, you get one one-up mushroom. If it's a star bit, you get a star bit. If it's a Bowser sign, you get a Goomba. So, um, if it's a coin, you get a coin, you know. I want a little mini game for you to chance to get extra lives, but we don't need those. Because we're awesome and skillful, and it's a big black hole. What the deuce? And there's peaceful music going on with the black hole. Wow. Hmm. How ironic. But whatever. This has been Silver Sonic 234, and we will continue with this final world in the game. This should, at minimum, take two more parts. I've made a new prediction, Rockstar Game 363. Sorry. I originally told him that there might be four. At, I said at the most four parts. But it looks like to me it might be. Yeah, it could be at the most four parts. I, it might. So it might be maybe three, three more parts in this entire series of this game so anyway it's been super sonic 224 and i will see you guys on the next video bye bye